Uh, there's a massive solar flare that has been reported. Um, Indian the CMEs, Ocean region, which, yeah. which are sort of like, uh, you know, smaller siblings of these uh, solar flares. What kind of damage is it going to do for, uh, you know, telecommunications, for various kinds of, uh, you know, networks? And uh, should we actually be worried? Because, I mean, it's the sun. It's, it's really far away. Uh, are those uh, solar flares really going to come in effect? You know, I'm. Uh, I was looking at the wires for that. Also, uh, one of the headlines was like, "Sun explodes with massive solar flare triggers radiation storm on Earth." There was also saying that shortwave radios uh, went completely blank yesterday in the Indian Ocean region. It, there was right. complete radio silence on it. So, um, for something so devastating, Varghese, these these visuals, the, the, this imagery is so. It's so beautiful. Captivating. I mean, uh, the the way NASA, ISRO, and all these you know uh, space agencies they put out these pictures of solar flares just looks really beautiful to look at. Okay, uh, and also uh, one of the I just read one of the excerpts in one of the mm. you know the science uh, columns that are there. The solar flare, an M six class event that has emitted from the sunspot AR3363 and was hurling plasma at inner planets at speeds of millions of kilometers per hour was the result of a sunspot. Now, sunspots keep happen, uh, you know, uh, coming in and going. And today's uh, solar flare pounded, hmm. crashing into the magnetic field of the Earth. According to spaceweather.com, the big sunspot just produced a significant solar flare, a long duration M6 class event during the uh, early uh, hours of July 18th and uh, today we are seeing its uh, you know uh, kind of effects that uh, uh, has been said so it could uh, interfere with uh, radio and communications and certain places it has interfered with radio and communication and uh, that is something that uh, everyone has been uh, warning about as well and uh, this uh, also uh, something interesting let me bring it to due to the sun's occasional severe solar storms which have the potential to disrupt all communication on earth there have been a resurgence of interest in the solar cycles today's solar flare pounded our world crashing into the magnetic field of the earth so there has been an intensive study of uh, these solar flares that uh, have been crashing onto earth's magnetic fields and uh, interestingly enough uh, when we see this uh, uh, a NASA model had suggested that uh, uh, this particular solar flare could deliver an effective glancing blow as early as July 20th. The NOAA is doing its own modeling and results uh, should have uh, been available soon is what they are saying. But uh, solar flares have been a big concern especially when it comes to the telecommunications uh, industry and most of them have been talking about how the M class uh, solar flare could become a big issue uh, as such when it comes to communications and uh, so the solar flare event of course uh, one thing that everyone has been in fact monitoring uh, for quite hmm, some time hmm, hmm. and I think uh, let's wait and watch because there right. have been certain disturbances that have been reported uh, but uh, let's see what uh, till july tw uh, i think 20th we would completely know whether it has affected the way it's abhi ta theek hai the abhi ta theek hai na some things are functioning some things are not <laughs> some things are functioning some things are not functioning but what is not functioning of course what we know is the shortwave radios have gone silent in certain places but i'm i'm also trying to figure out whether the uh, thing is true especially in the indian ocean region so let's find out what it is all right is. so a massive solar flare uh, we can expect a, 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 a what a what storm a, a solar storm um, something that hit the planet back in 1980s. This one they're saying is not as strong, but the CMEs, which are sort of like the lower uh, and the smaller siblings of these massive solar flares uh, that have reached and are now uh, hurting uh, various telecommunication networks.